Hi guys, Willie Creeper here, and um, this will be hopefully a reasonably short video um, with uh, some interest. So I was um, preparing for a tutorial on my zipper lift design from my LP world, and um, basically I was practicing building it so that um, I could get a nice clean um, run through with the video and I ran into some problems. Um, so I'm not going to go into great detail on the design um, but basically um, <coughs> the timing is done through a torch stack um, and it's very quick Ten blocks a second or so. So um, I built it, and then I decided I'd build it again and practice. And um, this here is identical in design to that one. And I ran into an issue, apart from the fact that I put a glass wall on. I was trying to make the thing work. Doesn't work. Um, after trying to make it work, I tried again. And that worked. Very confusing. I tried it again over here. And that works also. <coughs> uh, this was to explain about the directionality of the torch stack. And I think some of the problems I've run into is to do with the fact that obviously torch stacks like this, the timing is pushing it a little bit. Um, uh, hence the reason why the north-south quirk actually matters um, in this design. I couldn't figure out why this version would not work because it's the same design as um, as the rest of them. So there's absolutely no reason why it wouldn't work. Um, so I've put some... Put, scratched my head for a little bit and decided that what I might be experiencing might be something to do with um, the location of the lift and so I decided um, to test this um, so what I did was I copied this here uh, in MC Edit and I created a new world um, and basically uh, I replicated this design using an MC Edit schematic taken from this, um, and I placed, uh, I laid them out in a grid, so I had one in a chunk, basically. So in each chunk, sat one of these. And so we'll head over to that um, world now. Okay, so this is a survival world, as you can see if I press F1. And um, basically, I've tested not all of these, but quite a lot of them. So I'm just experiencing some lag while the world loads because there's a lot of stuff. Um, so, yeah. I basically, I started at this one and I've tested 11 stacks that way and 11 stacks that way, 11 rows that way and that way. Um, <coughs> and for each one that worked, I placed a block of dirt there on that side, and for each one who didn't, I placed a block of dirt on the other side. So this one worked. Okay, we'll jump out while I can still survive the fall. Um, oh, big lag there. It's because all those pistons going off and I'm recording. Um, and this one worked. And then this one didn't work. And nor did this one. 
and so on and so on. So I've tested uh, 11 times 11, uh, which is uh, 121. And uh, I basically marked each one as a working or non-working zipper. So this one here is working. And uh, so is that one. So is that one. And all of these, and that one over there is not working. So I plotted those out on a grid, and we'll go back to Big Mesa to have a look at that, uh, which is over here. And I've plotted them out here in coloured wool. Now, each red block of wall is a zipper that doesn't work, um, is, a, is a location where that zipper doesn't work, the zippers are identical, um, and each green piece of wall is a location where it does work. Um, so, yeah, basically we're looking at 54 locations, I believe, believe it was 54 locations out of that 121 where it did work. Um, I cannot spot any determinable pattern out of this uh, test sample. There are a few repeating shapes in here. So we've got this green shape here, which is the same as this red shape here. There's a few similarities. So this bears a passing resemblance to this. But r overall, it seems pretty random. So, yeah, basically, <coughs> if you're using a torch, a torch stack, these sort of zigzag torch stacks, and you want to use it for timing, then you're really on a hit or miss um, as to whether it's going to work. I was very fortunate in my LP world, in which I seem to have built in a, a chunk where this works, and I'm it's an assumption that it's the chunk that makes the difference um, but in that test world the zipper test world they're all in the exact same blocks of the chunk if you understand what I mean because I just repeated the pattern by 16 in MC edit using the clone tool so uh, the only thing that really makes any sense to me is that it's the chunk that is making the difference. Um, so you're on a slightly less than 50%. I don't know, we'd need a bigger sample size to be more certain on that. But from that experiment, a slightly less than 50% chance that your timing is going to work if it relies on torch stacks. Added to that, that these torch stacks, for the purposes of timing a zipper, only work if we are in if they run along the f2 f0 the f0 f2 axis um, so if we go over to this one which did, is working you notice that the design is different because ignore the water dropper built into the middle um, I've had to rotate the torch stacks which makes zipper deeper but it was the only way to get it to work while I was working on this before I realized the whole chunk variability thing so yeah uh, quite disappointing to me so I won't be doing a tutorial on this design of elevator of zipper lift um, which is a shame because I really like it it's very resource friendly for a zipper um, uh, but yeah um, Nonetheless, some interesting information there for science. At least I felt so. So yeah, that's all I've got to say today. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Or, well, I hope you found the video interesting. 
uh, and that it helps you um, out if you build something that relies on these and for some unknown reason it doesn't work you may be in a chunk where the timing is out of whack for those for that type of torch stack anyway I'll see you next time